budget by Finance Minister Chris Sinclair. She says Mr. Sinclair's proposals support the vision of those in the sector. Ms. Holder says government has recognized the need for a $50 million fund to ensure micro firms and startups can access grants and low interest loans to get and keep their businesses going. That is significant. That's what we've been calling for. I mentioned in another section that uh, since about 2011-12, we would have prepared a proposal on this. We would have lobbied. We had discussions with the minister in his pre-budget uh, meetings, and we asked him to really give consideration to this because the one million and two million that were traditionally provided to the fund access and others was just not enough. And and we are pleased today that he he heeded that call and he announced such a fund. Ms. Holder says the announcement of a comprehensive policy to guide the sector by the finance minister is also crucial. You know, we've spent some time working with the ministry responsible for small business development on such a policy. There was none. Uh, administrations came and went and there was no policy really for the sector. And we are pleased now that such a, a body of work has been has been done and, and this was mentioned as well in, in the budgetary proposals. We look forward to the rollout of this in the months and years to come. We think that based on the provisions in the policy that these two will redound to the benefit of this sector. A 28-year-old police constable is the winner of the Massey United Insurance Ride Revolution competition. Kevin Cox walked away with his 15-year-old 2001 Toyota Altiza looking as though it just came out the store window. He explained how he felt about winning the competition which called on drivers to submit videos via social media outlining why they deserved to have a makeover for their vehicle. I feel so great by man. This here. I'm amazed at the work the guys did to the vehicle and gave me an instant headache from the time I saw it, man. It was it, it's amazing, very, very amazing. It was a series of votes. We had a vote online for my video. I created a video, got a buddy of mine from work, uh, Randy Moore, to do a video for me. And I posted it on their Facebook page, which was the requirement, and logged on to my friends and family, told them to you know, get to voting. And my, my family are big supporters of, of me, so they immediately got to work and I had a, fa a family member by the name of Marcia, she made so she get she got everyone in the family to make sure to get in their votes and maybe workmates and colleagues, you know. It was it was it was nice man. Well Simpson Motors, Automotive Art and Sewell Air Services were all involved in that campaign. And here now is a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region.